Hi, Michael from Invarian here, and welcome to the tutorial for using Rapid Plan Online on a touchscreen device. Using Rapid Plan Online on an iPad or any touchscreen device makes it incredibly easy to create and edit traffic control plans when your team is out on the worksite. This tutorial will take you through some of the application's basic operations to help improve your usability on mobile devices. Here, I have an existing traffic control plan open. Depending on the size of the screen on the device you're using, the tools and operations palettes may limit the size of the canvas area. To maximize the canvas area, simply hide the palettes by tapping the tools and operations buttons here. The zoom level of your browser can also be adjusted in the browser settings. By adjusting the zoom level, you can limit the amount of space the palettes occupy while maximizing the canvas area. To enter full screen mode, simply flick up on the top toolbar. Let's take a look at how to navigate around the canvas area on a touchscreen device. To pan around the plan or base map, touch and drag across the screen with two fingers. To zoom in, touch the screen with two fingers and spread them outward. And to zoom out, touch the screen with two fingers and pinch inward. When panning, I recommend using two fingers pressed together to avoid accidental zooming. When you select a tool, you can start drawing with it by touching and dragging on your plan with one finger. Let's see how this works with the road tool as I select it, then touch and drag to start drawing. As I'm drawing, notice that the palettes on the left and right sides of the screen turn transparent for better visibility. Additionally, the tool has been offset from where you touch and drag so you can fully see the road rather than having it appear directly under your finger. As you remove your finger from the screen, a new control point will be added at that location, like so. Then you can tap and drag again to continue drawing. Once you've finished using this tool, tap the screen with two fingers to stop drawing more points. At this point, we still have the road tool selected and we can continue touching and dragging to draw another road, or we can tap the screen with two fingers once more to release that tool entirely. After releasing the tool, tap on the one we just drew, we'll see red control points appear where we had shaped the road, available to touch and drag if we needed to adjust its shape, like this. There are also blue points directly between the red control points on our road. You can touch and drag these blue points to add additional control points and further shape this tool, like so. To select an object on your plan, simply tap it once. Then, you'll see a selection context menu appear with the possible actions you can perform on the selected object. With the object selected, you can reposition it on your plan by touching and dragging it. You can drag from one of the yellow squares to resize in that direction, or from the orange circles to rotate that object. You can select multiple objects on your plan by touching with one finger and dragging over the objects. Dragging to the right uses the blue selection box, which selects everything completely inside it. Dragging to the left uses the green selection box, which selects everything inside and touching the box. As you can see, with multiple objects selected, we can now easily reposition them in the same way we'd re reposition any individual object, by touching and dragging over one of the selected objects. One option that appears in the selection context menu when we select an object is the option to copy. On touchscreen devices, the command for pasting is to tap and hold on the screen with one finger. I'll place a sign on my plan and then we'll copy it to see how this works. As I tap and hold, we see the paste option appear. Then I can select it to paste my copied sign in the desired location. If you're copying text from outside Rapid Plan Online, please note that your browser will ask you if you'd like to grant Rapid Plan Online access to your clipboard, and you will need to say yes in order to paste it directly from your clipboard. As I make changes to my plan, you can see that the plan is automatically saved here in the upper left corner next to the plan title. To ensure that your work has been saved, wait for the save status to say up to date before exiting your plan. When I'm ready to print or export my plan, I can click the printer icon above the properties field here or down below in the print regions layer.
to print all print regions or individual print regions. For more information on printing and exporting your plans, please see the linked tutorial video below on printing and exporting. This covers some basic actions when using Rapid Plan Online on a touchscreen device. Thanks for watching this tutorial video. Please hit subscribe to stay up to date on the latest here at Invariant.